Imagine this scenario. I'm meditating, visualizing in my head that I've given a teenage boy advice, perhaps about winning the lottery. He's still dreaming while awake, caught in a half-sleep of possibilities. Meanwhile, I decide to take a more tangible approach by writing down the value of $112 million on a piece of paper. The frustration boils over in me. I'm exhausted from working constantly and dream of the day when I won't have to anymore. Yet, even as I envision myself as a lottery winner, planning to buy a farm, I remain grounded. Rational thought persists. Our minds have the incredible ability to wander far and wide without ever leaving our seats. This isn't about literal travel or the effects of hallucinogens. It's about the sheer power of imagination, the positive kind that brings joy and fosters belief in future fortunes. Over four months, this steadfast belief led to a transformation within me. I shared this conviction with you, challenging you to consider how you use your own imagination. Do you find yourself picturing that dream car, or imagining the perfect vacation on a beach you've yearned to visit for years? Or, do you dwell on negative thoughts and self-pity over a lack of funds or unrequited love? Today, we're talking about the profound power of imagination. Take the case of Cynthia. She was determined to turn her life around amidst dire circumstances, such as facing eviction and the struggle to feed her five children. She decisively focused on the specific amount of $112 million, not just a vague hope for a lot of money, but a concrete figure. She immersed herself in the law of attraction, visualizing her success and waking up with the belief that the money would come to her. Cynthia used positive affirmation and visualization as her tools. She meditated, repeatedly wrote down her goal, and immersed herself in positive thinking, drawing inspiration from books like The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Nowadays, platforms like YouTube offer a wealth of resources, like the Alternative Reality Channel which can serve as an informative guide to reinforce this mindset. She didn't just wish passively, Cynthia maintained a focused intention, thinking about her goal incessantly, writing it down, and visualizing it with belief and patience. Eventually, her positive mentality paid off when she played Mega Millions in California and won the exact amount she had envisioned, $112 million. Now, as I share this story, it's a testament to the power of a positive and patient approach to life's challenges. It's about choosing to rise above your current situation, setting specific goals, and flooding your mind with positive thoughts and emotions. So, take the necessary steps to safeguard your mental space. Turn off the sensationalist and alarming news that breeds fear. Distance yourself from toxic people. Instead, surround yourself with humor and positivity. Watch comedy shows on YouTube to stimulate the release of neurotransmitters that benefit your mood and open your mind to further positive imagination. To summarize, here are Cynthia's steps, which you can follow to change your life. Be specific about what you want, like Cynthia's $112 million. Write down your goal and keep it in front of you. Educate yourself with positive material. Keep your goal fixed in your mind and pursue it with unwavering faith and patience. Let your imagination flow as if you have already achieved your goal. Your future, as I've learned from experience, is significantly shaped by your mental practices. The direction and outcome of this mental journey are yours to decide. Will it be one of joy or despair? Only your imagination and what you do with it can decide. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Remember to like this video and give thanks. Watch this important message right now.